Well, it is going to be a very cool day on Wednesday across Western New York. Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Carl Lamb, and I will say I will stress that it will either feel and you know, take it with a grain of salt. It will either feel like a very cold spring day, a very mild fall day or a very warm winter day. Take your pick, uh, but it is definitely going to feature a bit of a chill as we head into our Wednesday again, though. It is not going to be here for very long. We're calling it a very brief, cool blast. Then things will recover really nicely across Western New York. So let's show you what's going on in terms of uh, temperatures during the overnight. Notice that the wind will be noticeable as we go through the overnight hours. And by the time we get you to about two, three in the morning, temperatures have not cooled down all the way just yet. Keep your eyes on the community that's closest to you, but especially in the southern tier. Watch as temperatures get closer to the freezing mark into the mid 30s by Wednesday morning. So when you join Patrick, he'll be tracking a big swath of cool air from Friendship and Angelica and Bath over towards areas like Olean and uh, Sinclairville as well. It's really, really cool, especially as we get towards sunrise, the coldest point of the day. And we're talking about temperatures in the low 30s, even for Olean, possibly near the freezing mark. Uh, and then Warsaw, Pike, Eagle over towards Cast Island, Wellsville. Very, very cool to start the day. And this is still at 730. And even for us in downtown, in the 30s as well, Jamestown and areas right by the water. We're talking about temperatures near 40, but still a very cool start to the day for sure. And we'll eventually start to warm up. It'll take a little while to really get this going. I would say probably until about one or two o'clock before we actually have impressive numbers right as we get towards about uh, the low 50s. I would say that's pretty much the max here and then we'll cool things down and uh, we're going back into the ice box. I will say ice box literally because we will have some frost developing in the southern tier from Wednesday night into Thursday morning. So in terms of future look, well, you know, we were expecting a few showers to kind of work their way through uh, on Tuesday night. Those did not materialize. They just kind of fizzled out as that cold front works its way through. It clears out the sky. We won't have that smoke suspended up in the atmosphere too on Wednesday. That has kind of been pushed out of the way by this cold front. So we get into beautiful conditions. It will be all out sunshine, like wall to wall sunshine. Look at that from top to bottom from Medina and Barker all the way down towards Bradford and over towards McKean County. McKean and Potter County is getting lots of sunshine too. Uh, certainly not as cool in northern Pennsylvania as it will be for areas right along Lake Ontario. So certainly the coolest spots up north, not bad otherwise, but just a really cool day for sure. And then we take you into uh, Wednesday and we're just really kind of uh, experiencing calm conditions for sure. Now, as we take you into uh, the rest of the day on Wednesday, just a beautiful day and uh, Thursday looks fantastic as well. Very few clouds in the picture and then the winds are actually shifting. They'll be out of the south, so that does bring temperatures up a little bit. We speed you to Friday. Now, Friday, there's a little more in terms of cloud cover across the region, but we are also watching for the chance of some showers. This model is suggesting that it gets here by Friday afternoon and evening. I do expect these to hold off until very late Friday, so closer to about 8, 9 o'clock or completely into Saturday. So Saturday looking like the soggier of the two days as that kind of system works its way through pretty soggy overall as we go through the first I would say two thirds of the day. And then once it kind of passes by about five, six o'clock, then things start to rebound and recover. And then uh, Sunday does look better and drier. So we know that there are a lot of commencement ceremonies happening Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday commencements. I do think that Saturday morning photos are not going to be outside. I think Saturday afternoon photos you have a chance, but Friday and Sunday commencements look fantastic. OK, so temperatures uh, will be very cool on Wednesday. Factor in these wind gusts that'll be around 20 miles an hour. Definitely puts a chill in the air. We won't call wind chills into question here, but uh, definitely know that 53 for many areas will actually feel more like the low to mid 40s when you factor in a wind like this, not as windy by uh, Wednesday night. And then uh, things will actually kind of calm down. Very calm winds as we go into Thursday, uh, not too noticeable at all. So uh, it'll be a bright, 
but calm day as we go into Thursday. That is certainly good news because uh, it seems like today and Wednesday are going to be pretty breezy days overall, and this doesn't really uh, kind of suggest it's going to be all that wild in terms of those winds. So uh, lots of sunshine now. Uh, temperatures again cool for areas by Lake Ontario because of a northerly wind. So that sweeps it. It's going to make it very cool there. For Thursday, we're talking about temperatures in the low 60s. Not bad. Lots of sunshine. We get up into, I mean, look at this jump. It's a big 25 degree jump between Wednesday and Friday. So we'll have temperatures in the mid to even upper 70s on Friday. We'll cool things down as that rain works its way through for Saturday. And then as we head towards Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, a little cooler for the second half of the weekend. Monday again, a little bit below average Tuesday warming up nicely as we get back into the low 70s. Very comfortable conditions as we look ahead. But for the South Towns in the Southern Tier again, cold. I would say for this time of year, I'm going to use that word. Don't normally like using it, but this is definitely a shock to the system. Definitely not what we were dealing with uh, over the weekend and into uh, the first half of the week too. And then temperatures for Thursday get up into the low 60s. We'll warm things up for Friday and then the rain is here for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Look pretty good at this point, nice and calm, and uh, we don't have a ton of rain in the forecast aside from that blast of rain on Saturday.